We are the Falco family. Brian, Serena, Cameron, Kendall, and Savannah. We're a family of five driven by purpose and fueled by love. We decided to trade in the traditional school life for a life where every day is an adventure of faith and love. From a small photography business grew a love of memory keeping and filmmaking that turned into a full blown dream of becoming a family of filmmakers exploring the truth about education. So we're learning to document our adventures in homeschool business and life and tell stories of how we live and what we learn. Oh friends, I never really know where to start or where to begin. I just like, if I don't pick this up and try, this probably will never happen, friend. Um, I even needed to go and grab my tripod, but I didn't because I knew that the longer it would take me to turn on this camera and just start recording, you know, it was just never gonna happen, so. I'm Savannah from the Falco family. Oh, you needed a reintroduction, girl. <laughs> She said she needed to reintroduce herself. I lost my teeth. She's lost her teeth. Mm -hmm. They are finishing up yes. their um, work for the yeah. day. Yes, mm -hmm. I'm on Excel language arts. Okay, so she's doing language arts. Fourth grade is what it has for me on the di di diagnostics. Okay. Fourth grade for some of the things. Fifth grade for one of the things. I'm trying, I'm going in the diagnostics to see if I can make it to seventh. When I'm to seventh just, grade. What? It'll be fun. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. Okay. Y'all, I just love this little table so much. So a few hours later, <laughs> I painted my nails and um, answered all the girls' questions <laughs> and finally get to come back on here. So basically, um, what I was trying to say is I feel like there's always so many things that you're juggling at any given time at least for me that's definitely the case but one of the things i wanted to do this year was really try to simplify my monthly goals so um you guys know that i use a passion planner but i also have a digital version of the passion planner and so how i've been trying out using this lately is to go ahead and just kind of use it for logging my monthly goals to just make it as simple as possible um, because when i put too much stuff on my month it just becomes really overwhelming so i'm trying to get into a habit of like breaking down my monthly goals by um some five different areas that i just kind of like want to give attention which is health home homeschool business and brand for us so I try to just kind of, I'm, well, I'm trying, this is my first go around, but I'm trying to highlight like one um, thing in each of those areas. And then if I get that done earlier on in the month, then wonderful. Um, but I just want to try to simplify it. So what I do for this calendar is just have February goals up at the top. Um, and I put in any major things that are going on. You guys know my baby's birthday is coming up. Um, but basically, I just go through each of those different areas and highlight one thing that I want to do. So for health, I really want to focus in on adjusting my morning routine. So you will see it is right down there, um, my morning routine. I just want to add some like, I don't know, make it kind of fun, something that I'm looking forward to doing. I typically just fill my morning routine with stuff that I need to do. And it just makes it really hard to like want to get up and get it done because I'm just like, uh, this is annoying. <laughs> so, so I figure if I lace those things, you know, with special stuff that I really am looking forward to doing, that it would be more of a an enjoyable experience for me. So um, for health, that's like my main goal there. Um, for home, I really want to just kind of organize that dining shelf, that shelf that I moved from the living room to the dining room area um, and just kind of try to brainstorm putting like kitchen type things on that shelf. And then for homeschool, I want to work through their independent checklist routine. You all know I'm going to share a little bit more about how our gap year is going and things. But every day we work towards our goals um, during our study time. And we have adapted an independent checklist routine for the kids that Brian has gotten 
more involved with so that is what i'm referring to there and i want to just try to solidify that and make any changes i need to make um yes this month and then the next one is health home homeschool business for business and brand that just kind of goes hand in hand for like the um extra goals that we have outside of homeschool life well, i mean well outside of you know the fundamentals of homeschool life and for me that is uh, i need to get together a functioning office space out in my garage area so i just want to make sure that everything that i have out there is first and foremost functional so i want to just kind of get a wrap on that um, and then the next thing I have is individual web pages. So the kids and I, as part of our Falco family vibes, want to do, um, I thought it would be nice to do individual web pages for them on our website. Just kind of like the highlights, who they are, what they like to do. And I'm really excited about that. We're just going to kind of build out some of their interest and goals and things like that kind of like a virtual newsletter type of thing that i'm hoping to become interactive in the future so that is the last goal that i have for february so after i write out those goals then i put a date on them i just find a spot for them um, to give me a general idea of when i would like to be working on each one of those things so as you can see for the first for the top of this month for the top of this month, I am going to be working out that morning routine. And then over here, um, towards the end of this week, we are going to be finishing off those independent um, checklists. And then over here, um, this week, I'm going to be focusing in on that functioning office space. And then, of course, my baby's birthday. And then it just kind of goes on from there, trying to make sure that I give room to those things that I want to work on. I just want to make sure that there is like a very loose deadline, but a deadline nonetheless for each of the goals that I want to see um, myself achieve for the month. So I'm hoping to check in each month um, of this year because I just really want to take all of the um uh, overwhelm out of setting you know just some basic goals of course there are we have plenty more goals than this but i just want to have some just basic goals that i know that i'm just putting my hands to for the month so that's what i have going on there let us know in the comments how you handle your monthly goals or your goals in general how that's been working out for you have you been feeling overwhelmed with it lately because i have <laughs> so i just really want to keep it simple 2022 um and just make sure that i'm still setting goals because i was just really starting to get a point where i was like why even set goals <laughs> anymore so this is just kind of my simplified routine i guess for setting a monthly goals just going through those different areas that i want to set goals in which for us like i said for me is health home homeschool business and brand and then just finding some room in the month to work towards those things so Thank <laughs> you.